We told you earlier about the monarch butterfly sculpture that highlights the butterfly habitat and pollinator garden in the northwest corner of Veterans Park. Omaha sculptor Matthew Plachek was humble and grateful for everyone's response to his work. It was terrific, so it was so heartwarming to get that reaction. Matthew got his start at 14. And I sculpted um, a duck decoy, and I sold my first piece for $20, and I haven't stopped ever since. That's what I've done as my career um, my whole life. It's clear that Matthew landed on his dream job early in life. This has been my passion, and it's become something that um, I've lived my life for my sculpture, and it it's kind of breathes through me. Matthew says that being a sculptor has always been what he wanted. Other than deciding where to go to college, he knew that sculpting was his calling. It's pretty much been with me. And um, I mean, there was a, a point when I was deciding what I needed to do as far as going to college. Um, and I went to Hastings College and Creighton University. But I, I knew that um, uh, being a sculptor was something that I, I just had to do. Matthew points out that it wasn't hard to figure what he wanted to do. When I wasn't actually sculpting, I was thinking about it. And so that then, you know, they say that to become good at something, you need 10,000 hours. Well, that 10,000 hours came early to me because I was obsessed with it. His main effort is sculpting as opposed to painting, sketching, or other forms of art. But he does have his favorite subjects to sculpt. Organic shapes, forms, whether that's um, a bird or an organic a butterfly, of course, or just an organic abstract shape, um, those seem to come very natural to me. But also taking those organic shapes, and I, I sculpt a lot of human figures, and working them into the figure with the, the fluid motion of that figure um, is something that is just kind of a natural progression for me. There's no question that not only does Matthew love what he does, he's obviously excellent at it. We encourage you to come to the Butterfly Habitat and Pollinator Garden to not only enjoy the beauty, solitude, and majesty of it all, but to see Matthew's newest organic piece right here in Papillion. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantalian.